Okay, in the bottom left starting location, we have none other than Alive. See, I didn't know who it was. Yeah. That's how you do it, then. That's how you do it. I'm really curious as to, oh, well, actually, in the upper right, <laughs> in the blue, his opponent, his ID is... Mudding King Prime. Ranking is a damn good player. I mean, I always knew he was good, but he's really uh, looking slick in every game we've casted of him today. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's played some really nice games. And you know what? Uh, there are times in them where things aren't really going his way, but he's just he's staying tough, man. Stay strong, yep. and you're going to get out of this group. He's so close right now. Well, oh, well, I want to personally thank Wolf. I forgot to bring my meal today. Yeah. Set Wolf out. He's going to grab me a pizza. Gave Wolf wow. the money. He's running through the woods right now going, <laughs> howling and stuff. He seems like more like a dog than a wolf. No, man. He's a wolf. Wolves don't do what you tell them, man. Well, this wolf does. Uh, <laughs> I he see. was a wolf raised by nerds. <laughs> oh, I see. Uh, yes. And seven nerd raised by wolves. Yes, yes, yes. I'm the nerd raised by wolves. But he's a wolf raised by nerds. Let's see. All right. Well, looks like Marine King definitely going to be going for a quick expansion. Yep. Very standard of him to do. Now, what build will Alive go for? Because he sees exactly what's going on. He's saving up quite a bit of gas. So he's definitely going for a factory. Will he get the second gas, though? That's my question. And if he gets the second gas, can Marine King hold it? You know, Cloaked yeah. Banshee rushes into strong... Like, uh, Sea Chink Marine attacks can be really strong against a build like Marine King. So, yeah. we just have to wait and see what type of build Alive wants to do from here. Will he get that second gas? Our Observer does. He's watching for that second gas. Yeah, man. He's yeah, this observer. game is observed by uh, Startail Legend. He's a very good player. Yeah. Very, very good player. Nice and, guy. Uh, nice guy. And he does like uh, a great job observing. You know, observing in a StarCraft game is actually very, it's very complex. Difficult. Yeah. I mean, you are. Here, I'm going to make. This is going to sound so sexy. Yeah. Nerds are going to get all hot and bothered when I say this. I mean, you are essentially being the cameraman in a digital environment. Yeah. You know, you are actually trying to show us how. You know, I how was to, really excited, and then you said that, and I'm like, yeah, you're right, but <laughs> I'm not as excited as I thought. Well, it's it just would a be. sexy way to put it. It's not like, oh, he just observes the game. No, I mean, he. Yeah. He is actually like. He has to show us exactly. All right, you know, how, how often do I look in their bases? How often do I, you know, roam around the map? You know, if I see a battle, if I see three battles going on, which one do I show? What order yeah. do I do it? Yeah. It's a lot of work, man. Oftentimes, you have to be a really good player to actually be a good observer. Yeah, because you, you don't know what you need to look for. Yeah, right, otherwise, exactly. You're like, well... Yeah. Like, for instance, he was looking at that gas. Yeah. And uh, that's that's the important thing that's going to tell us exactly what's happening in this yeah. build. And he has gotten this thing in gas, but after starting Command Center, so it's not like a super aggressive type of build. It's a little bit more middle of the road. And that scan actually didn't show much except for two gas. And that might actually make ranking a bit scared because he, he scanned, saw two gas and nothing else except the barracks. Yeah. So he didn't see the command center and he didn't see... Uh, well, he's going to know that at least a Banshee's involved. You're not going to get two gas if you're not going starboard. Yeah. Uh, but he doesn't know for certain that it isn't some sort of crazy one base all in. It's a much more moderate build, so... That's actually uh, that's pretty important. Well, the uh, starport is now finished, and he will be going swapping. Up. Whoop. Oh, excuse me, making some hellions and oh, a Viking. Viking. Very that's interesting. Smart. Yeah, Viking makes a lot of sense since he scattered the double gas. You're yep. gonna have to be like, oh, probably cloak banshee. Well, the Viking's such a useful unit. I mean, we don't see it used on the ground as much, but I mean, even if like let's say they get ahead in Vikings, you can just lay it on the ground. That Marine never had a chance. Oh, look at his body. He's crawling around there. He's like, oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, Live's got to be careful because he's had, he has a lot of stray Marines out here. Yeah, he does. The Banshee, though, coming to help. Hopefully this goat doesn't get burned down. I hope he does. Uh-oh. 
BNG is out. And he just drives him right out of there. What do you think about this uh, Marine King uh, scouting barracks all the way across the map? It's kind of interesting, actually. I don't know what to think of it. You know, uh, it's it's giving away a lot of information, for sure. Yeah. It's He's basically saying, hey, I'm strongly considering going mech. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Like, uh, which is kind of interesting because I did not expect. Maybe he'll make another starport there and go Sky Terran. I mean, he's making a lot yeah, of like That would be unexpected because. Yeah, I'm gonna see the. Well, uh, he's making a lot of Hellions too. Well, it is gonna be another factory. Okay, so. all right. So it is Mac. Yeah. Let's see Marine King Mac. I'm, I'm excited it. about it. You know, he, again, I've seen it uh, sometimes, not too often, uh, but it's a good choice. You know, I think that. Boxer may have given him a little lesson because in the uh, code A, uh, not the up and down, but code A, when these two were fighting for, uh, when Boxer and Marine King were fighting for Coda's spot, uh, Boxer on this map had Marine King pretty dead with Mech, and Boxer's reactions were just a little bit too slow. And Marine King barely, barely, barely came back. Uh oh, oh hold on, though. this is actually kind of crazy. Uh, not too much. Gotta be careful. Those infantry and two die very quickly. If they yep. hit the right angles with those uh, Hellions. Nice Banshee once again. But uh, back to my story because that's important. Uh, you know, Foxer basically had it. I think Marine King looked at that and said, "Oh wow, if someone actually executed this better than Boxer, this is a pretty, pretty darn powerful build for this map." Yeah. And uh, you know, I think that's what Marine King's gonna end up wanting to do here. Alright, he's taking out all these Marines now. That and, uh, you know, the cool. yeah, it's, it's kind of interesting because the Banshee wasn't used that much for harassment, but he's damaged so many Hellions. The Hellions have no element of surprise with that Banshee roaming around the middle of the map. I, it's yeah. kind of interesting. Yeah. And well, we have another command center on the way here. Blue now, flame and siege tanks on here, Here's a question for you, Artosos. Yes. Um, if you were going to take your third, would you take it, uh, the, the, the one, like, let, let's say that you're making your. For instance, do you take yes. the one at the top yeah. or the one to the right? At, on as the Marine map? King here, I take yeah. the one at the top, 100%. Yeah. yeah that's going to be easier to defend. Your tanks aren't going to have to move as far uh, for defensive purposes. And that's really important. And in fact, I would say for uh, Alive, he probably wants to take that bottom expand rather than the one above. Yeah. Because, I mean, that's that's such a far way to run. There's some circumstances where that's going to be nice. Oh, you know but what? But certainly not these. Siege mode just started here for Marine King. Yeah, he's getting that a little bit later. It's, I think that might have been a mistake. You think? I think so. Well, the other guy has siege mode, right? So it's like you... Oh, uh, does he? Yeah. Yeah, he does. So he it's does. like... You could, I mean, it's kind of like the, the, yeah. la, the stim with the last game. Like, if they have stim, you have to have stim. Well, let's not forget, too, that uh, you know a lot of people forget that... Sea Chanks deal a ton of damage out of Siege Mode. Yeah, they if do. He, very quickly. If he can engage when Live isn't pre-sieged, then he should be able to win a battle if they, both their armies engage. And But hold on, his army getting a little bit caught off guard uh -oh. here. A little bit to the side. Whoa, what are they doing? Are, is he is Live actually going for a base trade? What? What? Uh, I don't know what Alive is doing. And I now Alive turning around. I'm actually so confused. Well, Alive's in super trouble. This is not good at all for Alive. Uh, all right, here we go. He's going to try yeah. to uh, save well. this. I don't know if he can. The Banshee's going to be taken over the Vikings, the Siege Shanks, any of the Siege Shanks. The Marauders are good against Mech, but not. Uh, they don't have enough of them. Wow. OK, I'll, I don't know what's going on with Alive this game. He was a genius in one set and then completely bungling this in the next one. Yeah, and now that uh, command center probably going to fall down. Oh, I mean, yeah, this most is, definitely. There's no way to uh, save that. I can't believe that he saw those units coming towards him and kept coming towards him, and he kept going towards his opponent. He kept going towards ranking when they were closer to his base, and he knew that it was a mech style. I mean, that was just, it was a terrible choice, and now Marine King is just worlds ahead. As if going mech versus bio wasn't already good enough. <laughs> He's... He's a good thir 25, almost 30 supply ahead. He's got complete air superiority. And he's got an additional base. He hasn't even really this lost is, siege tanks. I, I wonder what's going on with Alive. I mean, maybe he's nervous to play against Rankings. That was just such a bad decision. Well, I think, I think uh, you know, we've seen oh. Alive in the past do fine against Rankings, but I think Rankings right now is just uh, the better player. Yeah. That's all I can really say.
Well, he's moving in here now. I don't. I think this actually might be hit. I mean, he has yeah. too many units. He's just going to go in here. Oh, sick! I love it when he does that. Yeah, dropping mules all over the place, landing his Vikings, and that is going to be it, sir. So expect GG and he's second with Marine King by far the best Terran here today. Oh yeah, he's kicking serious ass. Yeah, he was wrecking uh, his opponents. Then once again, he lands the Vikings on the siege tank. The siege tank is going to go down. GG. Damn. Well. Marine King easily taking first in his group. I guess that uh, that 49% for Marine King to win was you know how uh, Marine King always like, licks his lips after he wins? Yeah, man. He tastes the nerd blood. Yeah, man. And it tastes good, Artosis. Yeah. Oh, Alive does not look happy. Well, who is somebody who might be having to face Artosis? Well, he will await the win of our next match. Which is, of course, Slayer's Brown against I Am Happy. And uh, that's going to be a hard match for Alive. No matter who comes out of there, they both have the potential to be Alive. Yeah, they absolutely do. You know, Marine King uh, did outclass the group today, but I feel like all three of these players have a chance to get out now. I think so. Yeah. Um, well, we're going to find out what that will be soon. We will have a little break. What should they do on their break, Artosis? Tasteless, you know what they should do? Is add us on Twitter. I'm Artosis. Oh, yeah. And he is call tasteless. Me, call, um, call me tasteless. Yeah, he's call me tasteless instead. Yes. Well, the other tasteless was taken. So, uh, yeah. And when we come back, we're going to have uh, Brown against, why am I forgetting the other player's name? Uh, I'm happy. I'm happy. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, so, stay tuned, guys. We'll be back here with more awesome action here at the GSL Code S.